हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डायनेमिक ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन सी प्लस प्लस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच इंक्लूड माय ऐप बुक्स एंड यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन यूज दीज इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द टॉपिक विच इज डायनेमिक ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो इन सी प्लस प्लस वी कैन क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट्स एट रन टाइम दीज ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर क्रिएटेड एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूशन so uh, till now uh, the objects which we have created are static which are created at uh, compilation time but now we can create dynamic objects which will be uh, which will be created at execution time so these types of objects are called dynamic objects we can create dynamic objects with the help of pointer so for this purpose we have to use pointers we can also destroy dynamically created object at run time so we can uh, create objects dynamically as well as we can destroy objects dynamically the c++ supports two operators first is new and second one is delete to perform memory allocation and deallocation so the new operator is used to create dynamic objects whereas the delete is used to destroy objects created at run time so for this purpose we have to create pointer to object so first you have to use name of class and then with asterisk sorry asterisk sign you can name a uh, pointer to object now accessing members through pointer so this pointer will access these members with the help of this symbol which is known as arrow sign you can also say it member selection operator you can frame it by pressing minus or hyphen sign from keyboard and then greater than sign so this will create arrow notation or you can use asterisk then a pointer to object and dot member name so you can uh, choose uh, any of the option which is convenient for you now i am explaining a program which is to demonstrate the working of pointer to object which is pointing statically created object so first in this example i am creating static object then later on i will demonstrate you dynamic object with the help of new and delete operators so in this program name of class is test two attributes a and b are declared then inside public this is default constructor which is which is assigning 5 into a and 10 into b then destructor which is printing a message on console then show method which will print value of a and b on console now inside main you can see a pointer ptr is created which is of test type then obj object is created which is also of test type then i have assigned address of obj into ptr so ptr is a pointer which can easily receive address of this object so you can see the comment assigning address of static object so this obj is static then obj dot show it will call show method and then uh, we can also call show method with the help of ptr pointer so for that purpose we have used arrow notation so when this object is created test obj then a, a message constructor of class test called will be printed then a is 5 and b is 10 uh it is printed through obj dot show then again a equals to 5 and b equals to 10 is printed this is because of this notation ptr arrow show so we have displayed uh, values of a and b twice that's why Uh, two times value of a and b are displayed here then when this program will be terminating the message destructor of class test called will be printed automatically on console so this program is based on static object creation now moving moving forward i am showing you how we can create dynamic objects and how we can destroy dynamic objects through new and delete so first is dynamic object creation so pointer then equals to then new operator and then name of class to destroy dynamically created 
object you can use delete and then ptr arrow obj object so this is the example which i have explained earlier this class is same variable a and b then test class test constructor then destructor and then show method uh, the complete definition of class is same so you you also have to remember whether we use static object creation or we use dynamic object creation in both the cases definition of the class will remain same so this is uh, main method now you can see that here only pointer is uh, declared an object is created with the help of new operator so new and then name of class so allocated memories uh, beginning address will be stored inside ptr then we can call ptr arrow show now here no static object is available that's why you only has an option to access all the methods of the class through this pointer only so ptr arrow show will print value of a and b on console then delete ptr will destroy the allocated memory through new operator so you can see the output constructor of class test called is printed so this message will be printed when this statement will be executed then a and 5 a5 and b10 this is because of ptr arrow show and destructor of class test called this is because of delete ptr so you can uh, easily understand this output with the help of this main method so you can implement both the program based on static object creation and based on dynamic object creation on your laptop so that you can easily understand the concept behind these programs so uh, this is all about the working of uh, new and delete operators which are beneficial to implement dynamic objects thank you for watching this video